What I have to say is, I'm on fire. Can you see me? Check, check. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna stop being silly. Hey, I'm all about transparency, so let's get started. Let me show you my left arm, okay? This is definitely not date material, okay? So here they are. If you could see what's going on there, I'm going to make changes there. This is my right armpit, and of course, I'm going to make changes there. I'm doing pretty good with the hyperpigmentation, and I just really want to share with you what I do and what sunshine looks like underneath my armpits. So I'm, again, I'm Yolanda, and stick with me. Let's go home. Ladies, before we headed into the bathroom, I wanted to tell you what our friends at Wikipedia give as a definition of a chemical depilatory. So it is a cosmetic preparation used to remove hair from the skin and its common active ingredients are salts of thioglycolic acid and thiolactic acids. These compounds break the disulfide bonds in keratin and, as and also hydrolyze the hair so that it is easily removed. And now that we know that definition, we know exactly what we're working with. So let's head on in to the bathroom. I get the light, fresh scent. Razorless, razorless cream shade. It's the ball head one. It's the gold one. Okay, so with this product, there are instructions. And so with these instructions, they are stating that this stays on. Watch. What it says, set timer for four minutes. The cream dries, re moisten, re moisten by patting the left fingertips. After four minutes, okay? After four minutes, test a small area. If hair does not wipe off easily, leave on a few minutes longer. Do not exceed seven minutes. For me, my skin's a little tougher. So what I do is use at your own risk, but I keep on a total of 10 minutes. Egypt.swan.ac.uk and it reads that in ancient, ancient Egyptian times, hair was removed with um, different re remedy for removing hairs from any body parts was boiled bones of the GPG bird, fly dirt, lard, sycamore milk, gum, a lump of salt, warm it and apply and that is just one of their special remedies in removing hair in ancient tent egypt times isn't that interesting damn we have come a long way okay so i'm just going to use two of these pads okay one two and i'm going to put some alcohol on them and I just want to make sure that area underneath my arms is dry and any product that I use, it can adhere to um, my underarms because I do want them to look really, really nice. And so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other pad. So look, when it comes to um, discoloration, I'm trying to avoid that at all cost. So this is why I picked this depilatory because it's been around 120 years and what my underarms look like. And I'm letting this dry. And you know, so let's just i'm going to go ahead and put this on and after i put this on on it so after i put this on completely that's when i start my timer um, that's just how i play it i keep it just on the hair i um, at one time i did put it around this area and i found that um, it made it sensitive and i just don't like i said we don't want 
we, you too, we don't want any razor burns. So it's kind of a weird angle. So can you see me? I hope so. So and okay. So. I'm gonna be back I'm gonna start Alexa I thought about it why not show you exactly the process okay here goes of which strokes if you could see anything so then I might just Try to find a clean spot so I can use as much of the towel as possible. Yes. So upward. So upward. Okay, and if I have to go back through, I will, because it only stayed on what? Seven minutes. It went way up there, so can you see how nice that looks? So I'll get up closer. I'm wondering if I have some hair removal, more hair removal that I need to do. Look how nice that looks. Wow, I've come a long way. Yeah, so I decided to turn the camera around and really get in there and get these last few hairs. Some of this hair is just straggly, but it's loose. It's it's loose hair. So um, that's the what you may see here. That's scraggly hair. So I'll get that off later. So I don't know if you can see how beautiful my underarms are. They have really come a long way. I don't want you to miss this. This product is wonderful. This is so much easier than waxing and um, yeah, no matter what kind of waxing, even the sugar wax, this is so easy to do for yourself. You do this in between your, you know, your times with your waxer or what have you but this is a great way to um, get the job done so I'm gonna go three more minutes I'll be back ladies I wanted to read something out of um, the vagina book and it is um, basic it is wax like a pro and I'm gonna read it to you it says if you do opt for waxing you should just go to a pro First, making sure the facility is legit. This is decidedly not the time for bargain hunting. Checking out internet reviews or asking your friends for recommendations is a good place to start. But you should go to any prospective a salon and check it out. Okay, times have changed. You have to do what you can, virtual tour. Uh, so that is you're checking it out and look for cleanliness, of course, but it's a red flag if the if the waxers double dip the wax applicators unless they use a new pot of wax for every client and throw it out afterwards. Reusing applicators can fast track bacteria infections of all kinds. So that's another reason why it's really, really great to uh, do your depilatories, depilatories, your hair cream removals also at home. So if you're a germaphobe, have at it. 
So um, Alexa is about to go off and um, I'm going to have to rent soon. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. All right. Ah, I got it, guys, the second time around. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Yes. Yes. It's magic up in the house. So this wipe off is coming, and then I'll show you what I do next. But I wanted to share something with you. I think it's important to know why we do certain things we do, where we get it from. So let me share with you here that I found in crwhatfashionbook.com. And it states that in ancient Egypt, body hair, especially pubic hair, was a symbol of uncivilized, depicted as dirty and unhygienic. Hence why so many women opted for hair removal. Of course, they were talked about. They were ridiculed. They also followed the trend set by Cleopatra, who removed all of her body hair, including from the top of her head to signify social class. So the more power, more money you um, showed more head. So... Um, even men preferred a clean shaven face at that time as having a beard or stubble was common among servants and slaves. So times have changed. So now I'm going to add my warm compresses because I want to follow through with some really cool water and close up this area and then I'm going to add my um, spray I use from the beauty supply to just help me with um, blocking um, discoloration and razor burn and razor bumps look at my underarm wow this is beautiful y'all I want the same for you this is real shit. It's real. Okay. Okay. So I'll be back. Yeah. I'm just close the pores. Okay. Even though I'm closing the pores and I'm gonna go through with the display to make sure that there's no razor bun, it still gets in there and does that. Yeah. Okay. So. So this is what I use, the anti-bump spray. I get this at my local beauty supply and I really like it and I'm going to do it on camera and you get to see my reaction, okay? And I think I spend like four nine, mm, maybe $6.99 or $7.99, I can't remember. So um, if I can remember, I'll let you know down below. Okay, so I want you to get my initial reaction. <laughs> what I have to say is I'm on fire and I think this is really what helps me maintain um smooth underarms just the whole vibe that um the whole routine that love coming to you with new ways to do things cost effective this is my thing girl so like subscribe share hey give me a thumbs up get notified uh yes um let's build a uh, environment here where women can feel comfortable and asking questions and getting information so I'm Yolanda and everything is done to be sexy fresh and feminine